Hey, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, beautiful people of the internet. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Yes, today I am taking the ferry over with my homegirl, Emily Roll, to go hang with my boy, Patty B. We get a full day of training, and it's awesome. You're going to see that in just a moment. But I got a couple surprises for you guys. Little mail time exclusive, starting with it's Friday. And as you guys know, on Fridays, we shout out our amazing Team 10 sponsor for the week, which is my homies at Wags and Weights. Look at this thing. I can eat my meal and keep my shirt clean. A shirt, you might ask? Maybe one of these awesome new shirts from my homies over at Wags and Weights. These are a bunch of amazing new products that have come out recently from my homies over there in Rochester, New York. Rochester, New York? Where are they from? New York? Queens. Queens, New York. Let's take a little look to see what else we got here. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. guys, this is like, I honestly, Meg, Meg, Meg has filled it with this bad boy. This is like, the, the material of these things is so incredibly high quality. Look at the hang tags. Look at the neck. Man, look at that. Look at that. Such a nice color. Thank you so much. Meg, I wish I could do what you do. You are amazing with the design world. This one is my absolute favorite. As you guys know, I talked about this last week or earlier this week. I absolutely love the puppy and paw design. I think this is amazing. If you guys have a dog, if you guys do fitness, like, come on, this is your lifeblood. This is what you gotta represent. Let me just, uh, let me just, uh, bah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now, if you guys are anything like me and you love your puppies and you love your fitness, Wags and Weights is 100% the brand for you. You guys need to go hit them up. First link in description, check out their site. They got some, like, it's just, it's incredible. The designs and the quality of these garments, I'm always blown away. And I mean, thank you Wags and Weights for making this week's Team 10 happen. Homies, we're gonna roll into the video. I got one more surprise for you. End of the video, when I announce the Team 10 winner, a little surprise for you. All right, stay tuned for that. But uh, Wags and Weights, thank you so much making this week's Team 10 happen. Let's get into today's video. Gym parking tells me anything, it's that this is not gonna go over well. Don't make me park! Come here! <laughs> not so much into that parallel parking yet. You know what, sometimes I nail it, sometimes not so much. <laughs> My body is stiff. Mine too. You're right over there? Yep. I said I had to wear men's deodorant this morning. I feel like a lot of people do that. Yeah, I think it's a lot stronger. Yeah. But I smell like a man. It's more like old spice. Yeah. I'm wearing the keys, is it? So first time walking on the ferry, eh? Yeah. You excited? Yeah. It's super fun. I've done it like 12 times in the last four weeks. Go. <laughs> Thanks. Mine is I like- I brought like, do you think I brought enough for a day trip? Well, I was just saying, mine is like absolutely ridiculously overstuffed right now. And water bottle hanging outside, I feel like it's gonna fall off. That's gonna be like uh, surprise. We're staying. A couple Shoe days. <laughs> Shoes are the biggest problem when you travel. Know. You know what I mean? If you just want to bring one backpack, it's like I'm not gonna bring more shoes than the ones on my feet. Do I brought you? a pair of thongs. A pair of thongs. Okay. What does that mean? <laughs> like sandals. Oh. You know, like the ones where you're. See, I was thinking what the classic understanding of that word would be. Brought like, a couple of those too. And then you said pair, and I was like, I didn't know they came in pairs. Just one for Nanaimo, please. What do you think so far? Kind of snooze. It's better than a plane, right? So far. So far. Yeah, I was saying the leg room. Yeah, it's Pretty great. Good. If I could travel everywhere in the world by ferry, 100% I would. 100%. It's my favorite way to travel. I like trains too, but ferries are even bigger. I like the space. I like the food. I like the freedom. Is there Wi-Fi? No, I don't think so. My data works like halfway, but you don't have data, so. Yeah, fun fact, Emily is the last person in 2020 to not have cellular data on her phone. Why do you even have an iPhone? I have cellular data. I just don't have a lot, and I, it uses up because my friends send all these photos and videos, how and much, it eats much, it up. How much do you pay a month for your phone? I don't know, Kyle pays. <laughs> If you had to guess, like... <laughs> oh, I think it's like 40 bucks, 50 bucks. Okay, so that's, I mean, cheap. most data plans are like, 
I'm sure you could get a data plan since you have your own phone for the same amount of money though. I could. I'm just not willing to pay. I have Wi-Fi everywhere at work and at home. No, people say that, and but you gym. don't. <laughs> Except on the ferries. Yeah, and then what if the Wi-Fi's not on? Then what do you do? Don't you have your own? Yeah, I didn't bring it. <laughs> that was your first ferry experience. It was. I've been on the ferry before. Come on. <laughs> what? Welcome to US Wildfire. I was right. to Metro Vancouver this week. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> That's lovely. <laughs> Oh, look at that. A little waterfall. And then barbed wire. <laughs> Don't cross. Relax, butt dog. Not bad, dude. dude, that is pretty. I think that's the first time I've been here in like months where I can actually see Vancouver. <laughs> you cleaned it up today. Yeah, we tried. It's still got the smoke rolling in though. <laughs> look at that. Did you make that? Wow. I made it. Barista Velner over there. Why didn't you make me one? He's I just at poured, work now. I just poured hot water in the, the espresso sun. I thought you knew what you were doing. No. Yeah. Need an expert? Good. Getting there. I'm gonna say I'm an expert. Probably not Emily level yet. <laughs> Emily knows what she's doing, man. She had like latte design and everything. Yeah, I see that. Hey, not Costco. Do you have like a duster? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. What's a duster? It's just like, like, a, like a little sieve. Like, yeah, to make like Oh, right, to put the, the, when you put the sun and stuff yesterday. Right. Right. Interesting. That's not Costco beans. No, I have tons of non-Costco beans. Do people just give them to you? Yeah, basically. Oh, wow. mm. I bought those regard ones. Yeah. Guess how much data Emily has on her phone? Probably not. <laughs> just take a guess. I bet, like, very little. Why would she have data? What do you mean, why would she have data? How much data do you have? You have like a couple of gigs, right? Like everyone else in the 21st century. Yeah, maybe. You can use it for Google Maps. Emily uses MapQuest still. She screenshots and prints out Google Maps and MapQuest. I used Google Maps this morning. That's sweet. That's not sweet. Yeah, it is. There's no reason why you only need 250 megabytes of data. I do that when I travel. What do you mean you do that when you travel? You I don't use, I don't, I don't use international data when I use travel when I travel. Because I don't like buy packages for that because it's wasting money. It's like $7 a day. Yeah. You know what's free? <laughs> You download a map when you're in your hotel room and then you go There's clearly a pretty big uh, gap here. I didn't realize. My generation is not willing to do this that. This is why you'll never own a house. <laughs> <laughs> Probably true. I would buy that GHD immediately. Okay, ready? Touch. Hey, whoa, very aggressive. <laughs> Pop. Oh boy. I've been calling him a girl. That's okay. He doesn't know. He doesn't speak English. <laughs> Wait. Right. No. Right. Left. Whoa. Whoa. Right. No. Right. Hey, right. Right. Oh, you're twisting now. You suck. <laughs> I would say that doesn't suck. Okay. That was pretty impressive. Uh, what else does he have? Ernie's got sit, and that's about it. What else do you do? Lay is down. it? Is he a sit or doodle? Uh, he's a sheep -a doodle Are you gonna show Emily your Roomba? Oh yeah, you wanna see our other pet? <laughs> we spent like 20 minutes on this last time I was here. Dude, it's the best. <laughs> Robot vacuum. Does it just go wherever? How does it work? Oh, oh wait. I've never seen something make him so happy before. <laughs> Hey, you know, one of my childhood fears was the vacuum. Was it really? Yeah, I used to like jump up <laughs> on my bed because it would scare me. Yeah. Yeah, like when my mom would vacuum, <laughs> you know, they could chase me. <laughs> wow. Pat. 99 cent blizzards. Yeah, exactly. Those things are like four bucks. I know. And they're pretty Stream good. couponing. Wait, it's just 99 cents for one? No, you got to buy one and then the second one's 99 cents. Oh, yeah, well, still a good deal. There's like the full box of dilly bars. Buy one, get What'd you one already for use? Uh, I think that we just we got rid of the there was like all the meal ones. Oh yeah. And like I don't really need those, but the ice cream. You need the ice cream. Maybe well, an like ice cream the cake one. It's just like legals in the deep freeze. Like 
Like buy those boxes and save yeah. them for a rainy day. <laughs> or a sunny day maybe. It smells like corn on the cob out here. Nice and sun. <laughs> you should put on one of his jerseys. Should I? Yeah, they're all over there. Yeah. I wonder what he'll say. <laughs> He'll probably just do his classic chuckle. Should I just do it and see what he says? Yeah, he should put on his deodorant too. No! <laughs> well, what do we want to do? Nice! <laughs> I'll take it off. I'm just gonna see what you'd say. That would be a thing. They can't hold you if it's during like... No, I know. What are you doing? Um, just fixing stuff. Being a man. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Your screws come loose already? Didn't you put this thing up like a week ago? I actually don't think I ever tightened this one. <laughs> Had a few pieces left over, eh? Like any good IKEA yeah. install? Yeah, yeah. A couple pieces left I don't over. I know what these ones are for. <laughs> eh, should be alright. I'm only swinging off of it. In fairness, I haven't actually used it really. I think oh. you've, you've been on this rig more than I have. I, yeah, I was about to say. Sorry about that. <laughs> It's a little shaky, but that's alright. I assure you it's safe. We're gonna there do some bar muscle ups today, so. There's three tight bolts, so there's one loose one. <laughs> Are you gonna do that workout now, Em? The you want or the what? Emily's options are 50 or 105, you said? That's yeah. solid. How's your jumps here. Yeah, how's your rowing? 212 calories, wow. No, yeah, we're getting there. I feel like that's pretty good for 13 minutes. It's not, I'm rowing like a two minute average. Is it weird to just like be sitting on a rower while other people are doing like other fitness? Do you feel like not yourself right now? No, I feel like I get asked that a lot at competitions and stuff too, if you're not competing. Yeah. Like, oh, do you wish you were doing that? No. <laughs> no <laughs> not I'm, even the slightest. I wish I was not doing this. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. I'm perfectly content. No, you this is good. This is fine. Uh, it's nice to see you guys. It's a nice sunny day. Yeah, it's beautiful, this man. This is fine. It's great. Mental health exercise. Yeah. <laughs> when you finish, I'll just see you on a patio chair with a beer and we're yeah, all good. Feel good. Feel accomplished. <laughs> salt on a freezy. I see him put salt in there when no one's looking. What? <laughs> How dare you? I've seen it happen many times. Salt would melt the ice. I didn't, think, I didn't think about that. There's Pat sciencing everything. nonsense <laughs> to the internet. <laughs> Pat Fake just, news. Pat just sciences everything. Takes the fun out of it. <laughs> oh man. I want my cold freezing. <laughs> so that was a 20 minute bike thing. Pat's on a call. 20 minute bike row. Every 20 seconds you go hard. Just a little uh, intro workout called a hundred. I was pleasantly surprised with how that went. I was like, for those of you, it was hard? what? It wasn't hard. No, it was hard. I'm saying I'm pleasantly surprised for my bicep. Oh. For those of you who maybe didn't see the earlier videos or maybe new to the channel, you know what's really good? Hit that subscribe button for me. 
Um, but I like kind of semi retore my bicep tendon. I mean, tore is a strong word. I have a torn bicep tendon that's kind of get acts, gets what, what would you say, worked up every once in a while, yeah. aggravated. And I did like a bajillion cleans last Friday and I couldn't sleep the entire night because it was so just achy. Um, so I haven't been pulling, but the bar muscle ups in the row were like two things where it's like, they're not heavy. And if you do them right, like technically correct, in that you keep your arms straight and use a hip drive in the bar muscle up and you kind of just transition over straight arms, you don't pull. And with the row, if you don't pull early with your biceps, you engage, retract your scaps, engage your lats, and catch the weight of the row on the back. Both of those are the correct way to do things, but not the way CrossFitters usually do them. Anyway, it just forced me to like practice good technique. I think it was hard on the row, obviously, um, as if I was like, you know, not really thinking super much about technique, but it's almost a good thing. Like if you have an injury that's not gonna like, like knock on wood, I'm not like, I'm, I'm cautious of this, but it's not like, I don't think it's, you know, the end of the world at the current moment. You know, maybe it's a good opportunity to help you move better, especially if it's something like this, which is from mo moving poorly. I have an early arm bend. It's the end of the world. Do you have something to say? No, I'm just gonna go play this now. Easy to just shoot the footage, delete it. Yeah. I mean, obviously you guys probably have the feeling of like what I wouldn't give to like not have to really care about my, like just be able to kind of have an hour. Cause I yeah. gotta get, I don't, I'm not gonna have a fiddle. Yeah. I'm just gonna go, right? What are you eating? Yogurt. You brought yogurt? Did you bring yeah. a whole day's worth of food? Uh, no. Oh. Just some snacks. I was gonna say, it's probably smart. I never think about that when I travel and I always Scarf. end up quite hungry. Well, I think we're going to get food now, so. This year. Hmm, that's a good question. I'm full of them. Holy. Um, that's how I got this job. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> I'm hopeful that they don't do a bunch more benchmarks. <laughs> um, much more through four minute workouts i think hopefully they they hopefully they like use the space well like i don't know yeah. what they can build there like that's the thing but you know with only five people five yeah men, five women like you can you could outfit every athlete with like whatever right yeah so you could see some cool stuff which would be sweet like yeah you know some more individualized like paddle or whatever stuff like that is totally possible um i would expect they'll do a lot of stuff in the mountains there might be a kind of mountain bike or biking event kind of through the hills, which would be cool. Um, Do you like the points resetting? No. You don't think that's fair? No. I think it, well, what it does kind of inadvertently um, is it, it makes this next stage the real games. Yeah. So if you're going to say that this is stage one and then stage two, the, uh, the points should should remain right that makes sense, if it's yeah. still the same competition if it's not if it's a different competition then like well then the games is coming up right right and the first stage was just a qualifier for the games yeah it's another open so um <clears throat> i think that that's that's what it looks like is it's sort of like well now we have the real competition right the real game so anyway i i don't think it's fair i think that the people who competed in stage one and performed well should be rewarded for that right um but I think it's a means to try to make sure that someone can challenge Matt. Yeah. Because he's got a 215 point lead right now. <laughs> and with the point system being what it is changing to. Yeah. Um, and I think, you know, out of those seven events, Matt won, would have won four of them yeah. out of those those five individuals and came second in the remaining yeah. ones. He'd have an even bigger points lead with yeah. that system. So. I think that it's them trying to make it interesting, but I don't think it's the right call or a, or a fair call uh, if you're going to say that this is stage one and stage two yeah. of the CrossFit game. Are you going to watch? Uh, honestly, I don't think so. I'll probably try to follow it a little bit, but I'm supposed to be away that weekend. We actually had planned, that's the weekend that Michelle and I got engaged. Oh. So we planned a trip forever ago. Yeah. Um, and then as the games got delayed and pushed back and stage one and stage two got announced, 
it turned out that we had our trip when stage two was going to be. Oh. So You're Michelle like, was still going to go if I if I advanced <laughs> and just like bring a friend. <laughs> and I was like, ah, but now I get to go on my own anniversary trip. There you go. That's good. So Michelle probably won't want to watch a bunch of CrossFit on that, but I'm sure I'll follow it a little bit. When are you going to come to hang out in Vancouver? God, I don't know. Come on, man. We We're could come to see you. Little, like, day trips just like that we've been saying the same even about victoria like we should just yeah. like, go do a weekend or like a one night at airbnb or the ferry's way easier than people make it out to be like literally these day trips to hang out with you are like it's just like a work day for me like i just yeah. leave in the morning come back at night it's no big deal ferry's it's chill on this end because i just pick you up and i live like five minutes from the ferry yeah but i live i would pick you up i live pretty cool i only live like 10 15 minutes from the ferry oh really yes from the horseshoe bay mm -hmm. oh. we live right by the bridge Sweet. Yeah, I didn't know that. no that long to drive that's what i'm saying man Maybe we'll have to do it. Yeah, we gotta figure out when. Just, yeah. I don't know, man. Get this high-profile body over to the mainland, right? <laughs> Shit, I don't know what's going on. Like, it's a while. No excuses. Uh, just laziness. <laughs> I'll see All you right, later. thanks for coming, guys. Yeah, nice it was fun hanging place. out. Why? Yeah, fun. Yeah, it's a good day. Can you get chicken nuggets with me on the boat? There's chicken nuggets. Yeah. They got a white spot on the boat. Really? Yes. If you had to eat fast food, what would you eat? Um, well, I'd just go for like ice cream. Does that count? <laughs> like burger, fries, pizza. Um, or ooh. burger, burger, chicken fingers, pizza. Yeah, chicken fingers. I don't eat. Um, you don't like chicken fingers? Well, what's wrong with you? Yeah. Have you ever had Chick Fil A? Nope. I heard Church's chicken's really good. I've never had that either. Yeah, well, we're having Canada, but it's good. I had burger and fries in Tofino last week. It was good. <laughs> but I like pizza too. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy today's vlog. As well as announcing the Team 10 winner for today, the last of the week for Wagon Weights, I also got a little mail time surprise for you. Now, pretty sure I know what has to be a Pokemon. Okay, yeah, I know what this is. And here's here's the thing. Here's the thing. Team 10. Y'all are the homies, y'all are the squad, y'all are the fam. You stayed to the end of the video. That's amazing. You probably enjoyed the video. That's amazing. You're also probably the first people to watch this. If you are, in fact, one of the first people to see this, my homie, Eric Richard, is like doing this like custom leather work. And he's making these lifting straps. These custom leather, high quality, mmm, smell. Smells like leather. Really nice. Lifting straps. Look, look, look. He made some custom ones. Dream it, do it. That's so cool. Cause he was like, bro, you need some lifting straps? And I was like, bro, I'll take some lifting straps. I could always use some lifting straps. Now, he sent me a lot of lifting straps. These are all custom, handmade, with love, for us, custom made lifting straps. Now, how many I got? I got four sets here. Now, I'm gonna keep one. I'm gonna keep one. I'm gonna keep one from me, myself, and I. But. I got three pairs of custom Dream It Do It, one of one, gonna resell on eBay for thousands of dollars at some point maybe, lifting straps. If you want one, they're free, I'm gonna give them to you, because that's just the kind of guy I am. And I love Team 10. Team 10 of the homies, Team 10 of the squad, I wanna keep being able to give you guys more on top of even just the weekly giveaways, like the one sponsored by my awesome homies at Wags and Ways. I wanna give you some more stuff. So right now, first, second link in the description, Wags is first, second link in the description, DreamerBrand.com, go to my site, they're up there right now, Dreamer Brand, they're free. Just click on them, just tell them where you want it sent, and boom, you'll get them. Up on the site right now, three sets of lifting chops, first come, first serve. So that means if you're seeing this right now, you better run because I'm sure people are gonna snag these up pretty for free, and I'm giving to you, and you got awesome custom made, one of one, never to be made again, Dreamer do it lifting chops. And if you, if you don't luck out and get these and you want some custom made lifting straps, DM Eric, I link his profile in, uh, in the description below and he can make you some custom made lifting shots. Thanks Eric. Thank you Wags and Ways for sponsoring this Team 10. Thank you all my homies for watching these videos. And then what Carissa McGee. Good job you and Team 10. DM Wags and Ways first link in the description. Now I will see you in the next video. Bye.